$32 billion a year. A lot of people don't know that there are about 27 million people living in slavery right now, M many of them in sex trafficking, but in the others. How do we speak out and how do you, how do you plan to do something about that? Well, th th this has to be a top priority. And I, I, this is an area where we've already seen bipartisan agreement on this issue. Mm -hmm. uh, what we have to do is to create better, more effective tools for prosecuting. Mm -hmm. Uh, those who are engaging in human trafficking. Uh, and we have to do that within our country. Sadly, there are thousands who are uh, trapped in uh, various forms of uh, enslavement here in our country. Uh, oftentimes, uh, young women who are, are caught up in prostitution. Uh, so we've got to give prosecutors the tools to crack down on these uh, human trafficking networks. Internationally, we've got to speak out and we've got to forge alliances with other countries to share intelligence, to roll up the financing networks that are involved in them. Uh, it is a debasement of our common humanity whenever we see something like that taking place. Okay, in a minute, in one minute, because I know you could take the entire hour on this, tell me in a minute why you want to be president. Uh, Y'all, I, I, I remember what my mother used to tell me. I, I, I was talking to somebody a while back and I said, uh, the one time that she'd get really angry with me is if she ever thought that uh, I was being mean to somebody or unfair to somebody. She said, imagine standing in their shoes. Uh, imagine looking through their eyes. That basic idea of empathy. And, and, and that, I think, is what, ma what what's made America special is that notion that everybody's got a shot. If we see somebody down and out, if we see a kid who's, uh, who can't afford college, that, that we care for them too. And I want to be president because that's the America I believe in, and I feel like that American dream is slipping away. I think we are at a critical juncture economically. I think we are at a critical junk, uh, juncture internationally. We've got to make some big decisions, not just for us, but for the next generation. And we keep on putting it off. And unfortunately, our politics uh, is so broken, and Washington is so broken, that we can't seem to bring together people of goodwill to solve these common problems. I think I have the ability to build bridges across partisan lines, racial, regional lines, to get people to work on some common sense solutions to critical issues. And, and uh, I hope that I have the opportunity to do that. I'm going to skip over a couple of these other important ones and I'll just ask you, what do you say to people who oppose me asking you these questions? That'll be the last one. These are the kinds of forums we need where we have a conversation. And I think based on... Um, Based on these conversations, the American people can make a good judgment. I, I mean, one of the things, that if, if you're a person of faith like me, I believe that things will work out and uh, we will get the president that we need. Uh, what, I, what you want, though, is just to make sure that people have good information, that they're not just consuming negative ads or the kind of nasty tit-for-tat that, that has become so common in politics. Uh, you know, I want people to know me well, uh, and I want people, I'm sure John McCain feels the same way, and that if we are both known uh, and people know where we stand on issues, uh, yeah, I trust in the American people. They're going to make a good decision, and, and we're going to be able to solve the big problems that we face. Okay, I've got 30 seconds. What would you tell the American public if you knew there wouldn't be any repercussions? Well, uh, you, you know what I would tell them is that solving big problems, like for example energy, yeah. is not going to be easy. And everybody is going to have to get involved. And we are going to have to all think about how are we using energy more efficiently. And there's going to be a price to pay in transitioning to a more energy efficient economy and dealing with issues like climate change. And if we pretend like everything is free, and there's no sacrifice involved, then we are betraying the tradition of America. I think about my grandparents' generation coming out of a depression, fighting World War II, 
you know, they've confronted some challenges we can't even imagine. If they were willing to make sacrifices on our behalf, we should be able to make some sacrifices on behalf of the next generation. Senator, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, okay. Would you stand? Would you stand and thank Senator Barack Obama? And while you're still standing, would you welcome at the same time Senator John McCain? Would you welcome him as he comes out here? Thank you so much.